Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Eliza by Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how to watermark your artwork, specifically in a shape. This is good for your website or your Etsy store or whatever you are doing with your designs. Um, so I'm just going to get started here and jump right into it. I created this in Procreate and then I brought it into Illustrator. And when I designed it, I didn't have a background on it. I didn't want one, but I do now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the complete design and I'm going to hit Command C and then Command B. What that does is it duplicates the object right behind it. And then I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool and I'm going to hit Unite. What that did is it created a compound path. So it got rid of all the flowers. And now I'm going to select a color. I'm going to click gray and I want to keep this gray for later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it into my swatches panel and just drag it right into it. This is good for setting up files for later on. If you have projects that you want to showcase in your website, it's just good for consistency of your colors. And now I'm going to go down to my stroke panel and I'm going to bump up the stroke and I'm just going to hit a line to the outside and rounded corners. So now I'm just going to bump up the stroke. Oh, make sure you're on gray. I'm just going to bump up the stroke just so I think it looks good. And I think that looks good. And then I'm going to go to object, expand appearance. So what that did is it made the stroke its own object. And now I'm going to go to back to the Pathfinder tool and I hit Unite. I swear the Pathfinder tool is my best friend. And then I'm going to get rid of this white. I don't want the white. So what I'm going to do is go up to Object, Compound Path, and Release. There's a couple ways to do it, but this is the way that I know that I like to use. And then I'm going back to the Pathfinder tool and I'm hit, hitting Unite. So what I did is I created an object by its of my design, but thicker and it's its own background now following the shape. So now I want to make my logo go on top of it. And the easiest way to do that is to create a pattern. So I'm going to go to my logo. I brought it in earlier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to object pattern and make. And now just play around with the settings, however you like. I'm just going to do this and then make it bigger more so it fits in my object and you can name it however you want. Um, and then what this does is it saves directly to your swatch panel. You don't have to do anything else other than hit done. And now what you're going to do is this exact same process as how we did the background. We're going to select everything. We're going to hit command C and hit command F. What that does is it duplicates it and puts it right in front of your design. And now I'm going to go back to the Pathfinder tool and hit Unite. So now what I did is I created an object right above my design. So now I'm going to go to my swatch panel and hit that pattern that we made with our logo. Now I have my pattern and it's encased within my shape and it looks good. So now I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm going to probably do around 50 because that's usually what I do. And I think that looks really good like that. So now I'm going to do the second shape. So I duplicated my artboard. And I want to do the exact same thing basically. So what I'm going to do is select my whole design. And I'm going to go back to my Pathfinder tool and hit Unite. Now I made an object, just a complete uh, object of my shape. I'm going to bring my opacity back to 100 and I'm going to go back to my swatches panel and hit that gray that we saved. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command C and Command F. And then I'm going to go back to my swatches panel and hit that pattern that we made. So now I have my pattern on top of my shape uh, that I created and I'm not going to lower the opacity on this one. I don't have the design below it, but what I am going to do just to add an extra effect so it doesn't look so flat is I'm going to add a drop shadow. 
But my layers panel is kind of a mess. So what I'm gonna do is actually go back to this one and group everything. And I'm gonna go Command G to group. So now I can actually see what's going on in my panel here. Now this is my logo. And so now I'm just gonna bring this, this to the top and actually hide it so I don't have to deal with it. So now what I'm gonna do is actually click that bit gray background that we created. I'm gonna go to the effects panel, stylize and drop shadow. Usually Illustrator defaults to 75%. Um, I think it's a little too dark, so that's why I like to stay around 50%. I think it looks good. You can play with the offset if you want. I like what I had, or the, the default. Um, I think it was around this. And you can even change the color of the drop shadow, but I think black looks good in this case. So yeah, once you've hit your drop, created your drop shadow, you just hit OK. And then you have your two shapes that are watermarked. Pretty simple. I think it looks very professional. Um, you can do this laying over your design as well. So I'll show you how to do that too. I'm just going to duplicate my artboard one last time here. Um, and then let's just delete everything. So let's, for example, let's just say you don't want to do it within the artboard, within your design. What I would do is create a square that's the exact same as your box, as your artboard. Oops, 15 by 15 inches. And it typically would be a color. So I'm just going to align it to my artboard go to my swatches panel and then add that back over. It's the same effect, but it's not encased within the, um, the shape and I'll show you what I mean. So if I were to add a color to the background of this, bring that shape to the back, you can see that it's aligned or it's all over my artboard. And this works fine too, if this is how you want to do it. I think this looks, or this is easier because if I were to add, let's say I want to add it, add something to my background. Um, it's just on the logo itself or on the design itself. It's not in the background. Either way works. Um, this way just is a little bit more clean. So yeah, that's how to create a watermark on top of your designs using shapes. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to know, add that in the comments. Actually get this design, the love design with the flowers in my Etsy store. So I'll put that in the link below as well. Um, thank you for watching the video today. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.